In this video, I'm going to go over first order reaction kinetics. The classic example is radioactive decay, where you have an atom and it, it breaks down into products and releases energy. Um, we're going to look at its rate laws and derive this equation. And I, this is also important for polymerization kinetics because the exact same expression is used for the decomposition of a peroxide initiator for a free radical polymerization. So we will use this again later in the course. Okay. So what does minus dn dt mean actually? So we've got our number of atoms and it's decreasing with time. And because rates are always expressed as a positive quantity because this this term is decreasing with time, we need the negative sign. So that's the proportionality, and here's the rate law. And we need our constant of proportionality, or our rate constant, which is k, the rate constant. So now we can start to separate these variables, and then we're going to integrate. So here we've got dn minus k and dt, so we just need to bring that n over 1 over n dn equals minus k dt. Okay, so now we need to integrate this. And the hardest part of the, often the hardest part of the integration is figuring out what the limits are. Okay, so we're going to integrate both sides. And uh, the time is usually pretty straightforward. Usually we're going from t equals zero to some time t. And then we're going to go from our initial concentration or our initial number of monomers, so n naught, to some unknown number of monomers, uh, um, atoms, I keep saying monomers, um, are, uh, to some unknown or known, right? Typically, these are problems we either want to know what this is or we want to know what the time is. Okay, so now we just need to integrate that. So remember, one over x, the integral of 1 over x dx is just the natural log. So we've got the natural log of n going from n naught to n equals minus kt going from 0 to t. Okay, and I also want to point out if the calculus is really difficult, you need to stop and think about your assumptions. That's not an issue here, but as we move forward, if the calculus is hard, probably you've missed an assumption with the polymerization kinetics we'll be doing. Okay, so now we've got, let's simplify this, we've got the natural log of n minus the natural log of n naught equals minus kt minus zero. And if we remember our uh, math, that just the minus means divide by if we bring them all into the same natural log. Okay, now to get rid of the natural log, we're going to uh, raise both sides e to the this and so e to the natural log is just n, n over n naught equals minus uh, e to the minus kt. So finally we get what we were after. Our number of atoms equals our initial number of atoms times e to the minus kt. And again this is showing us exponential decay, which there's the, the graph if we plot this out. So the number of nuclei versus time in years, and this is for C14. So this is how you would do radiocarbon dating. And we know K very well for C14, and we can measure the concentration of C14 um, very accurately. So that is how we do radiocarbon dating. But once we get out here, there's not enough change. Um, so it becomes inaccurate when things are too old. Okay, So that's how radiocarbon dating works. 
All right, our next topic will be the kinetics of uh, polyesterification, and that's what we will be doing for um, step growth uh, polymerization kinetics. Thanks.